Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy DVD and Blurry Reviewer, and I'm back today everyone. I'm going to do this really cool video idea I just thought of. I'm going to be ranking all the Toy Story movies. There's four of them right now. And I'm going to do the fourth one being my least favorite all the way to the first one. And these movies are all really good. They're all phenomenal. They're all really good movies. But some are better than others. So let's get straight into it. With the fourth spot in my collection being Toy Story 4. So yes, Toy Story 4 is the fourth one for this spot. I got this recently and I watched it in theaters. It's the only Toy Story movie I watched in theaters. And I felt like it was a really good movie. But there's some stuff I don't like about it. And I'll talk about that right now. So first of all, I didn't like Bo, Pete, Bo Pete's design. They didn't even try to make it kind of like um, her original design. Because in her original design, she, she wasn't able to take her hat off because it was like it, it was like glue to her. But in here, she doesn't have a hat. So that didn't make any sense to me. And I, I didn't understand why they did that. And also, Forky got on my freaking nerves. He was so annoying in this one. He was so annoying. But I really liked the movie still because we in Carnival. I liked these two characters. I really liked Woody and Buzz. And this ending was sad. So that's why I still think it's really good. And he was really funny too. So yeah, Duke Kaboom was really funny as well, guys. So yeah, still really good movie. But it's number four. So yeah. And now I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. But my number three spot is Toy Story 2. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but Toy Story 2 basically is my third favorite, and that's because it was really sad, first of all, and I don't like a movie that's really, really sad, because this was really, really sad with um Jesse's backstory was really sad. I hated the, the villain, though, and I hated Proxbester and that guy with the glasses. I hated him. I forgot his name, though, the guy with the glasses. He, they call him the Chicken Man in this. But I hated that villain, and I hated Prospector. He was so annoying. I hated the villain. But I liked the scenes with um, Buzz and um, Slinky and Mr. Potato Head and um, Dr. Porkchop. And um, I forgot his name. Rex. Rex. Yeah, with Rex. So, I liked those scenes. That's why I still like the film. It's just that um, the villain was annoying. So, yeah. Number two, we have Toy Story 3. So, Toy Story 3 had a phenomenal ending. It had a phenomenal ending, and the story was great. Um, this is the two-disc edition. And... The ending was really sad. I didn't really... I thought it was scary when I was younger. I thought it was scary. But it brings out to a lot of nostalgia. Because this was the first Toy Story movie I ever saw. And because I'm only 14. I turn 15 next month. November 18th. But this is the only Toy Story I saw. This is the first Toy Story I saw. And once I saw it, I thought it was really good. I thought it was really good. But it's not the best one. Obviously, Toy Story is my first favorite. And I'll explain why in a minute. But I really like this one. But... I didn't like the Barbie, and after this, we never saw her again. We saw her in the first one, the second one, I mean, when they were in the um, toy barn, and after that, we never saw her again. But I didn't like him. He was got on my nerves. I really don't like the villains in this story. I really don't like the villains in any of these movies. But said there wasn't really a villain in this one. Well, Sid was the villain, but I'll talk more about that. So, yeah, I really liked the ending. I liked, um... That we got introduced to new characters, and the story was great. The ending made this movie really good. I liked when they went to the... I liked how it was a little scary. I liked when they go to the the um, daycare, Sunnyside Daycare. I just liked when Mr. Potato Head became uh, um, a tortilla, and yeah. Number one, my favorite film of... My favorite animated film of all time, and I'm just going to see if the DVDs in here. Yeah, it is the Blu-ray. My favorite animated film of all time, Toy Story. So, I really like this one. A lot of people have Toy Story 2 in their favorite, but this is my favorite, guys. I freaking love this movie. It's really good. When I first watched it, I didn't really like it. And as I rewatched it, like, two months ago, it was freaking good. It was really good. Oh, my gosh. This story was really good. It was super, super, super good, guys. 
I can wash this thousands of thousands of times. I don't really have a big reason why I like this. It's just, it brings up a lot of nostalgia. This was the, after I watched Toy Story 3, immediately I watched Toy Story back when I was a kid. I loved it. I loved it. I love it so much. This used to be my favorite one, but now this is my favorite one. I love Toy Story, guys. Yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap up the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I really want to get slip covers for these three, but I have a box set. So let me, I'll go get that. I'll be right back. I might not get a slip cover because I have a, a, a box set. And there's no point in rebuying the Blu rays because it, no point in rebuying the blue just for the slip covers. And the slip covers are not even good. The new slip covers they have are not even good. These are better than the slip covers. See, I have a box set right here. Yeah, guys, tell me in the comments if you want any new collections, if you want any new collections, if you want any new ranking videos. I can do the Spider-Man ranking videos. This is just episode one, season one. Season one, episode one. And, yeah, of ranking, of ranking movies. It's a new series on my channel now. Subscribe, like this video up, and I'll see you guys all next time. And I like how they, the spines match, see? That's cool. One, two, three, and then four. It would be really cool if it was like this. No, that doesn't really match. But probably when they come out with a new box set, I'm probably going to ditch this one and get the new box set. I don't know. So I can free up space. But I like this edition because it's shiny, so I might not. Yeah, guys, subscribe down below. Like this video up, and peace out, guys. Love you guys all. Bye.